Hello there. One of the things I like to do online is uh, take surveys and make extra money that way. And I was on the forum of the website where I do these and I told some people about how to use AutoHotKey and some other tools to make things quicker and simpler so they wouldn't mind taking surveys so much. Especially since they pay us even if we get disqualified. Alright, so I set up a simple, a sample demo here just to show you how this works. And I'm going to take this survey, but before I do, I want to come over to Google and type in Auto Hotkey. Now you can see a lot of information on here, and I'm going to tell you ahead of time, there's a, this thing will do enough stuff that it will just blow your mind and, t and make you feel like you never want to use it. That's why I'm making this video to show you how easy it is to use for an absolutely simple procedure like this. Okay, so I go to Auto Hotkey. And I just say I want to download it. I want to download the current version. And I'm going to put it in my download folder, which is empty. And say save. When that's done, I just click the little carrot there and say show in folder. And double click that so it will install. Say yes, that I want to let it. Express installation is fine. I don't want to do any of that. I'll just exit. The program is now installed. How simple was that? The next thing I have to do is I made up a folder called Auto Hotkey Scripts that I can easily get to. And then you notice I put two little exclamation points at the top. That means it shows up at the top of the list. I, I made up a script before I started this video called Demo AHK. I'm going to right click on that and say edit the script with Notepad++. Notepad++ again, do a search for it. It's a free text editor, but it edits in pure text. It doesn't put any extra characters in. So I'm going to edit it. Here's the script I have as it's typed up so far. So while I'm working on these surveys, I leave this over on the side because that's the list of all the special keys that I can use while I'm taking the survey. So I've got this script typed up. And I got my survey on the screen, and they're all separate so I can watch them. And I'm going to go over here to the auto hotkey scripts, and I'm going to right click on that and say run the script. Now it's in the background. I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I just minimize that. And now I'm taking my survey. The first one on here is any of your age. You can see my age is 81, so all I have to do is type a control A. So I hold the control key down with my thumb and hit the letter A with my index finger and it's done. Now that's not a big deal, but it's quick and simple. I don't have to fumble around using the 10 keypad that I'm not familiar with. Enter your zip code. All I do is put my cursor in that field and hold down my control with my thumb and hit the letter Z. It puts it in my zip code. Now it gets a little bit hairier. It says enter a couple of sentences about your favorite activity online. Not only is it a, a long question I have to type in, but it repeats itself throughout the day. I, I may see this same question 15 times as I'm doing a bunch of surveys. Well, in this case, I have it set over here on my script as being FA, favorite activity. So I, I set it up to use the right bracket and then just type FA. And when I hit a space, fills it in for me. How easy is that? Okay, it says enter a couple of sentences about how well you're doing. Ah, well now I don't have that on my script over here. So all I have to do is I open up another little window over here. Word counter. And I cheat here too. I use talk to type. This is a couple of sentences about what I do and how well I'm doing at it that I can fill in to my survey without having to spend the time to type everything in. I'm going to highlight that whole thing and copy it. And I'm going to come over here to my script. And I'm going to put two colons. We'll type HDs, how you're doing. Put two more colons and paste in that sentences that I just set up. All right, well, this needs a capital, I think. So all I have to do is come over here and edit that one time. All right, now that's done. So I could click the Save button. Now, it won't have that in there unless I reload the script. So if I go back to my original folder, 
where I had my scripts and I right click on that say run script it'll say an older instance of the script is already running replace it with this say yes that's all there is to it minimize that go back to my survey now when I type in here greater than F A and hit a space there it is you can keep this running on the fly and build this list up and keep saving it each time you get ready to use it again it's already set up with all the new questions and everything you can have as many of these scripts as you want and you can run them simultaneously so you don't have to be limited to just one but anyway that's how simple it is to solve that one direct problem and this takes up no room in your memory it just sits in the background you don't even notice it's there well, have fun with this, and I'll see you online.